Hello everyone and welcome back to Super Metroid. Last time we went through a significant portion of Brinstar and arrived at the Red Tower. This time, while I want to go up there, I'm debating whether to do it or not. If we can get up there, it's tricky, but there will be a lot. There'll be a few goodies for us up there. And I do want to, to try this at least once. But to do so, I need some super missiles. So I'm just gonna just gonna stock up on, on super missiles real fast. See this guy, he fucking blended in. Nine will be plenty. I could I could have gotten away with it with four, but I only had three. So if I wanted to attempt this, I had to come back in here. So this is also a skip, but is not like a big speed running one, from what I remember, because I don't know. I I don't remember. Maybe it is. Maybe maybe I'm stupid and remembering wrong. Oh boy. Now, now, it, now the wall jumps are gonna give me trouble. Oh boy. Oh god damn it. Okay. Of course it does this now. Oh my god. Wall jump. Uh, okay, this is not good for this. Okay. I promise I'm usually better at this game, but wow. Uh, okay, and we're down here again. Cool. Jump off the fucking wall. Oh my god. If I haven't complained enough about this controller... <laughs> Oh my god. Huh. Let me try this wall. Cool. <laughs> and a fall right back down. So our goal is to get up there, which is really hard without a couple upgrades. Why can I not wall jump on this wall? What the fuck? Too low. God damn it. I, I won't spend a lot of time on this. But. Oh, I don't know if that broke or not. Not that it fucking matters because I can't fucking wall jump with this goddamn controller. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're done. We're not gonna. <laughs> we're not gonna try this. You can get some things early if you do that, but. Nah. That's too much of a hassle. We'll come back later. We'll come back to that when when the time comes to, to do it properly. This, however, uh, I will come do right now. Because this is infinitely easier to do early. Normally, you need to go ahead just a little bit to go get the high jump boots. But you can wall jump up here and get the spacer. 
Spacer is another beam upgrade. Uh, it does a little... I, d I don't remember exactly what Spacer does. I don't know if it has any kind of special thing to it, like a lot of the other ones. I think it might just be damage increase. Shit. Which I mean is still useful. But, uh, I think other than that, it is just a pretty basic thing. Running through this little tube here in, in a different uh, area of the map that we will not be seeing for quite some time. And because I feel like doing this, these three blocks here are super missile blocks. And right up there is where we need to go next. Normally, again, you would go ahead down this elevator and go get the high jump boots. You don't need to. <laughs> you really don't need to. High jump boots are required for not much in this game. There's like one section that absolutely does require it. But that's all I can currently think of. <laughs> Deal with all these enemies. And there's actually a thing right over here. But we can't get it. This item would be accessible if we had been able to go up Red Tower. So, something to come back for later. But... Ah, and with Spazer, we can, uh, we can kill the green guys with our regular beam. This little guy, one super missile kills him. I'm actually gonna turn back around and get more super missiles because they're useful. And he always drops, like, five. I'm pretty sure we can only hold ten for the moment. Uh, if you go up here, uh, in, through this door is a missile and health recharge. If you want to do, do things quickly, there's also that inf infinite enemy spawner. Here, we have a boss door. You hit it with... I don't remember how it might be three regular missiles or one super missile to open it. I uh, usually just use a super missile because it's faster. And here is our first boss. This is Kraid. He's a big boy. Hit him with a super missile and we are immediately in phase two where he gets bigger. This is, this is where high jump boots would be nice, but you don't need them. If you hit him in the eye, he will open his mouth, and you have to shoot him in the mouth to do damage. Kraid, if you have a, enough super missiles, will go down in three super missiles and one regular missile. Otherwise, it's a lot of regular missiles, and you will be here for a while. For defeating him, our prize is the Varia Suit. The Varia Suit... Where is it? It's on this fucking... There it is. Couldn't find it on my fucking item tracker. Varia Suit! We're orange now. Uh, we now take half as much damage. Oh god, I, I think it's half as much. I, I I don't remember a lot of the specifics about the items in this game. I'm just like, oh, item. Useful. <laughs> Very much go, go he who brain when playing this fucking game. But, with Kraid dead, and with our Varia suit, uh, there's a lot more we can do now. 
Uh, this is one place where having the high jump is nice, but is, again, not required. Just a wall jump out, and that's that. I don't know why I like skipping wall jump. I just do. Th this is another room where uh, having gone up Red Tower would have made things a lot nicer. Uh, your regular shots cannot affect these guys. You have to shoot them with either missiles or if they latch onto you with bombs. And right here is another E-Tank. Very nice to have. And with that, that is everything we can currently get in Brinstar. Grab some, grab some, some drops off of these lads. And these blocks annoyingly reappear. So, got, you gotta spend a super missile to come back through. And now we go down into Norfair. Where we have a lot of things open to us. Normally in the game, before you would go to Kraid, you would come down here. Uh, through this room is something we can't do quite yet. Th through this room is a door we can't open yet, so we'll touch on that later. And this is just a regular red missile door. This is where you're supposed to go before Kraid. For one, there's an E-Tank, so very helpful to have. Uh, you must kill this enemy to get back to get back out. Uh, there's an item game. There's an item up there that we can't get because we can't jump high enough. So, should we go through here? We get the high jump boots. Very, very useful. Uh, th this item would make going up Red Tower much easier, but I don't really feel like backtracking right now. So we're, we're just going to continue on and we'll get what's up there more of when we're actually supposed to. <laughs> we come up here because we can't go out the other way. There's a missile pack. Now we see an enemy down down here. These blocks are breakable. You can go down here. But Yeah, we can't get through. <laughs> this door is not openable from this side, so we must turn back. Uh this door is a save spot which I'm going to use. Save completed. Uh, there is a door on the other side of that, but we'll, we'll concern ourselves with that later. We can't quite use that, what's on the other side of that door yet. And then this door. If you were to try to go in this room without the Varia suit, you would begin taking damage. This room is too hot to exist in without the Varia suit. And this jump right here is why you need high jump. Because of how this led these ledges are, you cannot get up here without high jump or without space jump. Space jump is a much later <laughs> later game item. So uh Unless you're doing a randomizer, you're not going to have that. I've been wanting to do the combo randomizer again. And and maybe I'll do that again soonish because those are always really fun. Down here. Oh my god. Jesus fucking Christ, this D-pad sucks. Uh, 
Down here, there's a missile. <laughs> You're not technically supposed to be able to get that yet, but you can. Now I need health. <laughs> At least a little bit. This room has currently no lava, but here it comes. Once it gets there, it will stop. Got these lava seahorses. Uh, I don't know if you can kill them or not. Fuck, I'm playing like trash. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. <laughs> we get through here and we enter the room of the bubbles. Uh, there is another skip that I want to try that's in here. But this one is difficult. So I'm only going to try this a couple of times and then we'll move on and do things properly. Make sure that enemy is dead. Uh, in here is another save room. I am again going to use it. Fucking respond to the goddamn enemies. Get at it. So, from about this spot, it's possible to wall jump past past that block that keep that we keep fucking hitting our heads on. And failing, because there's the fucking enemy there. Uh, if you can tell, this is not the way you are supposed to go to get up there. I was about to fire until I fucking... God damn it. God damn it. Oh my god, this... Controller suck. <laughs> oh, um, okay. We're not. We're not gonna bother. It's gonna take too goddamn long. Let's go do this properly. Boring to do things properly, but not much choice. Go go through the little maze. Can't go through there yet. I believe the way we are supposed to go is down. It's been a while since I've done this properly. Uh, this door leads to... I don't know. Enemy spawner, okay. Might come back to that because I, I, I could use a little bit of health. And go all the way down and into here. Deal with lava monsters. <laughs> lava orbs. A <laughs> lot of enemies that we can't easily kill <laughs> right now. These blue ones we can. Now, should we go down? can get a little glimpse at what's to come. It's a door that we can't quite go through yet. Now, even if we could open that door, we cannot go that way. Not for a while. We have another room where the lava is rising. A little path down here, and we go up. There's these boys. You stand in front of them for too long, they'll fire projectiles at you. So, uh, got to keep, keep moving. This room's gonna be a challenge, considering. Uh, 
this guy. Not quite as strong as his friend over there. You stand on him too long, he starts to go down. You stand on him too long, and you'll be in the fucking lava. Door here. We're not gonna go through this one because there's another one just a bit ahead. And we're gonna go through this one. And we got some platforms and more of those guys that shoot projectiles at you. And we have a door that we can open to get some missiles. Now, this skip is much easier. You're supposed to have another item, but if you just go all the way over, there's some spikes. Don't stand on for too long, obviously, but you can easily enough wall jump up here, provided you're quick at your wall jumping. You do that, you get wave beam. Wave beam is arguably one of the most useful beams. Not because it does good damage, but because it goes through walls. I'm just gonna go and do this because I need the health. So, wave beam goes through walls. Spazer and our regular beam don't exactly do that. Wave Beam, I believe, does also give us a slight uh, damage increase. It's still not amazing, but it's more damage, and that's always useful. Uh, let's take a look at our Charge Beam. View! <laughs> and now that we've gone through that way, now we're up here th th the way you're supposed to be up here. There's more to get over on the other side, but that I don't think we can get quite yet. I could try. It's possible with more wall jumping shenanigans, but it's a bit of a pain to do. That block there is breakable. Got an enemy spawner here that has f five enemies. Very good if you need some some health or missiles or what have you. And now we run through this because these blocks break as we run over them again. However, before you go through this door, there's a missile pack right here. Don't miss it. Because it's going to be a pain if you do. Because you will have to go all the way out and all and come all the way back down to get it. This is another extremely essential item. The speed booster. Speed booster upgrades our run to be better. Now we go really fast and can break certain blocks with it. I believe we can break bomb blocks as well as there are blocks specifically designed for the speed booster that you have to run through. And then there's more abilities to, uh, to that than, than just r run fast. But that's that's the main of it. Ah, oh, damn it! I do want to try to get this, but it's uh this side wall, which is apparently my fucking enemy. Okay, I'm not gonna bother. We will come back for that at another time. Uh, and to continue, we must go back through the maze. Annoying, but so be it. We we can't cheese our way through it otherwise, again, since we couldn't climb Red Tower. This time, 
We're gonna go this way. Now, there's an enemy spawner right here, as well as that man. Up here, uh, leads to the other side of that save room we saw earlier. It's a very long stretch that, and I suppose it can't hurt to show this now. It, to get through here, you need speed booster. All those blocks are speed blocks. Run back through. It had no drops. That sucks. But yeah, some uh, some stuff down there. This door, this gate, you need waypoint for. There is a way to cheese it with super missiles. But it's very particular about it and is difficult to pull off. Not impossible, but difficult. Down here, I believe this is a health recharge room on the other side of which leads back to that tunnel. So we could have gotten here through this way to get a health recharge. But that's not the side of this room we're interested in. We need to go over here. Uh, this path is something else that you could have, that you could have, a different path you could have gone. And we shall, in time, but not yet. Use a super missile to open this door, and we go through. This is Karakameyer. He's a dick. Open his mouth, shoot super missiles in there. Careful because he does have projectiles that can destroy your super missiles. Shit. Fuck. I hate Krokemeyer so much. Super missiles are the way to go, but we don't have too many, so. So we gotta push him back with regular missiles. Should you run out of both, your charge beam will push him back. And your charge beam will work on most bosses. Believe me, you're gonna want to know that, because some of the later bosses, if you don't have a ton of ammo for your things, you're gonna need charge beam. Fuck. Fuck. Push him onto the bridge, which crumbles beneath him, and he dies a gruesome death. <laughs> Extremely gruesome. Now, normally we need a different item to go over here. But if you don't mind taking some damage, there's an E-Tank over here that you can get slightly early. The item to deal with those blocks, uh, we get pretty soon. So, don't worry about grabbing that now. Oh, man, I ran into the spikes like an idiot. Got some screen shaking. The wall is gone! Phase two! And he's dead. <laughs> speed and just jump over all those platforms. Got an enemy spawner here. Should you need health and, and ammo, which I'm going to use because I need 
missiles and super missiles. <laughs> full up now. Uh, if we use this platform... Ah, damn it. I hit the fucking ceiling. The jump button on this... My fucking... What is that? B button? On this controller? Is kind of shit. But if you have high jump, you can make a jump to get up here pretty easily and now finally we get power bombs this is what we would have gotten really early if we had been able to go up red tower power bombs opens a lot of things for us and they are what open all the orange doors so we will be uh Dealing with some of that later. Down through here. Some rubble in the way. Ah, uh, let's clear it with power bombs. Which basically just nukes the fucking screen. Uh Power bomb blocks can usually also be dealt with speed booster. Now we run, we jump. Now we get in here and we grab the grapple beam. Grappling beam. This is what allows us to grab onto all those plus blocks. As well as onto certain enemies which the game expects you to learn real quick so if we go through here you can also open uh, regular beam doors which is cool if we go through here I haven't seen this section in forever jump up and we beam onto these swing over God, this fucking section is long. Uh, get out the water. Water is gonna be annoying for a little bit. Because we move real fucking slowly in water. And over here, super missile door. So this is the intended path to get back to here. However, we're not quite done down there. There is another item left. There's an item down here that we can get. God damn it. I'm trying to do it the fucking the very much unintended way because I think it's more fun. Also because I am garbage with the grapple beam. Ah, damn it. So there's some flying enemies up there. The ones that just go back and forth. Uh, and you're intended to use the grapple beam on them to get this. I elect for a different approach. <laughs> Because I hate dealing with them with Grapple Beam. <laughs> but also, it was good to come back down here. Because there's another thing down here. Probably noticed that missile door that we skipped. Let's open that. I gotta, I gotta remember that I have select on item cancel. Some lava in this room. Well, kind of lava. It's like tier two lava that you will take, that you will always take damage in. But there's some missiles over here. We are at, I believe, eighty 
five is our max now, so we have quite a bit. We could certainly do with more uh, super missiles, however. More super missiles are always useful. Now, th th this video's been running a little long. So let's let's go show one last thing and reach a save room to end this out. Going back up where we came, through, back through Karkamai's door. Uh, if you have grapple beam, you can latch onto those guys. And that's how you're supposed to get the item over there. If we go back in through here. Go back through the door. There was a bit of this that we didn't quite explore. We didn't go up. Up here. Some, some more cactus enemies. All, again, we'll always drop super missiles. There's a couple doors up here. Uh, I believe that other door was a save room, but I want to show this before we're done. Up here is some grapple blocks. And I fucked it up. I don't like the grapple beam. <laughs> it, I don't know, it just doesn't feel good to use. But should we get over here? There is a missile. This is that super missile door we saw earlier. And since we're right next to a save room. Next time on Super Metroid, we will continue to go through Norfair and see what else we can find. See you guys then.